Okay, Marcin. So, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. So it's uh, doing really it's, good. Yeah. It's been a month since our last conversation. We had several conversations in between. So, what happened and um, you know, since or or even when you go all the way back in in our first conversation, if you can remember anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Um, it's kind of difficult to talk about, of course. Yeah. But um uh yeah, I mean you can look at it in, in two ways because obviously like in relative terms something happened right something yeah. happens when we watch yeah. your videos something happens when the yeah. mind pops obviously there's a shift there's something like you know call it an energy shift or whatnot something obviously happens and there's a certain type of experience that um uh, that happens during a session um but to be honest you know it's been a month now and um I'm not, it's not like I'm, I keep reliving that moment mm -hmm. of a shift happening, right? Yeah. So no matter if if it's a grand transition because there's so many beliefs falling away or it's super gentle because it was gradual in the first place and it really doesn't matter. And I know people sometimes, I know I, I have obsessed about this shift, this 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 single happening that's supposed to be like the grand you know orgasm for That's for right, seeking yeah. the fireworks right? and uh yeah yeah and then of course it was quite remarkable uh i was tearing up during the first session um i don't think i i actually cried but i was tearing up and there was so many you know emotions experiences but it's not like i know i'm not stuck in that moment right yeah since then you know life has been happening yeah and uh everything is kind of uh seamless you know um and um i could say i could easily say nothing really happened right yeah nothing changed you know everything around me everything is exactly the same and you know the moment of like this this recognition let's call it is like and seems really natural seems like like re like a remembering or something um it's still remarkable I mean, don't get me wrong, and I I know why people like keep thinking about this like moment where you know something shifts, something you know snaps, but um, you know life goes on, and uh, you you don't you're not fixed in that moment. You're the moment keeps changing. Everything you know, everything is kind of weaved in into a like a continuous experience right so i'm not uh you know ecstatic all the time of course mm -hmm. i'm not blissful all the time but then when i look also in relative terms when i when i look at what's what's been happening in my life there's been a major shift right even for me even if it like for me it feels like it's completely natural and it's if i mean if maybe i could even say you know nothing really changed I mean, as in terms of how I, you know, feel, how I, how I experience life, um, I could say that it was so the transition was so affluent, so seamless that I, I didn't really notice a change. But to be honest, you know, thoughts come up, but but they, you know, don't have a pull really, right? I, I have there's no seeking whatsoever. Um, emotions whenever they arise. They're diff sometimes they're gentle, sometimes they're pretty, you know, pretty wild, but they never linger. Um, and if you were to ask me, you know, those th those questions about, you know, who I am, where's where's the yeah. me and stuff. I mean, they they don't uh, they don't come up, they don't arise. But if I do ask myself, if I let's say I do self inquiry right now, yeah, it's just it's just ridiculous, right? It's it's yeah. so obvious that there's kind of like nobody here. But it's uh yeah, it just seems supernatural. Yeah. What do you think about all the beliefs before and you know, like contracted energy and all that kind of um, stuff? Because I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I yeah, lost yeah. you for a second. No worries. I, yeah, I said um <laughs> what do you think of you know concepts or beliefs right now, like contracted energy? Because when you came in, right, there was a, a belief system there and 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 I think I pulled down the video because there was such candid conversation about radical non-duality. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. So 
what what happened since basically um well certainly like since the very first session i yeah. i developed a, a certain like automatic distaste for spiritual lingo yeah and for the life of me i just can't go through a full video of a non-duality speaker i just can't it's for me yeah. it's you know it's whenever i hear something like that it's for me it's like word salad of the day right yeah. what's on the net <laughs> i mean really and i just can't stomach stomach it it's uh i mean that's how it kind of worked for me yeah. i i'm pretty sure that it's 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 kind of unique for every person yeah uh, but for me, I, I never even once got back to any seeking, haven't read, you know, any book that would be from like the same shelf, uh, so to speak. And, you know, haven't uh, been listening to any YouTube videos. So that went away completely. Um, yeah. Of course, I, I remember some of the stuff that's been said, of course. Yeah. And I, um, I found myself like repeating some of it. Yeah. Uh, which uh, I mean, of course, it's I mean, it's it's a conditioning, right? Yeah. And uh, we we've been taught on what to expect and you know and how to describe whatever we're feeling. So so this sort of arises automatically, but but I mean, those those are just words, right? Yeah, just words. Yeah. And and um, I know that like now it's it's pretty obvious that. Um, concepts create a path for you. Create mm -hmm. the, most concepts, especially in the, uh, the the spirituality, you know, uh, sector. Most concepts deal with the next, uh, yeah. which never arrives, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so really, the the more you listen, the more you hear the 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 more removed you are from from like this immediacy yeah. so uh yeah i mean i'm not saying you know concepts don't have a place in you know in our lives i mean obviously they do but but in terms of uh you know being on a path and and, and seeking uh wanting to arrive at some point um they don't really help at all right they mm -hmm. they they like solidify you as a seeker uh and uh, just draw a path that's always that's always you know tomorrow it's always kind of next corner it's always the next book it's always you know the next concept or when is it when i'm going to finally be feeling what this guy is feeling and and uh you know it it kind of creates certain expectations that are that will I'm pretty sure will never be fulfilled, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas when you when you kind of take a few steps back from out of that, you know, maze, mm, yeah, because your mind is like a maze, and and uh, you know, seeking is one of the like the deepest rabbit holes. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, when you when you go out, when you step out of it, and when you're you know in a let's call it a place where there are no concepts and no no mm -hmm. thoughts, then then this is where everything kind of falls into place and yeah. this is when it feels natural yeah. this is when it feels direct and and that's when you know immediately that like those concepts yeah. are i mean those concepts are answers to questions that don't even arise really yeah when you're like feeling this this directness right yeah beautiful how's your relationships in those things since and uh, <laughs> I think we talked about that, you know, yeah. like a, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, I I, I like that you asked that because uh, I I mean, um, I think speaking about all this, like talking about the unspeakable, is mm -hmm. is kind of silly in a way. Yeah. But speaking practical terms actually makes sense, I think. And uh, yeah. for me, it was a uh, there was an adjustment period. Yeah. Uh, at some point, my girlfriend said that she i mean uh, jokingly of course that she's going to write a book about living with an enlightened person <laughs> yeah. which uh of course that's i mean i i'm not i'm not saying that you know i am a that or this kind of person uh not at all she she was she was saying that jokingly but but it was an adjustment period for her as well yeah um, yeah i mean let's say 
when you have a normal relationship with either you know a partner spouse or just a friend or family member uh, it's kind of um obvious that that people let's say talk about emotions that they wallow in that they mm -hmm. you know th they have so many lingering emotions like they can have a large discussion about something that happened a week ago and there's mm -hmm. still you know there's still some some residue left over and so, yeah. some leftovers from that situation yeah. and i feel like completely removed from a situation that happened 15 minutes ago right i can't yeah. I can't be angry, angry for, for something that happened, you know, 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it happens in the moment and then it's completely done. So, so I kind of started, um, um, operating in a different way, I think. And it has been noticed. Also, my girlfriend noticed the, uh, the blank stare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The first time she saw that, she said, that I looked as if I wanted to kill her. <laughs> and then and then you generously offered that she can call you actually every time that happens and you explain yeah. her that that you know that you know that's not the, that's not wrong and you know nothing's yeah. bad is happening and it's nothing to be afraid of. So uh so there's that. But yeah now since you know a couple of weeks has has or several weeks have passed um I actually notice, or we both notice. I'm talking about the, my partner because that's the main relationship in my life, and mm -hmm. um, I noticed, and we both agreed that our communication has never been better. Actually, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. There was an adjustment period period in the beginning, but now it seems like there's no subject that would be too difficult to talk about. Yeah, um, it really helped. Yeah. Uh, I, I wasn't sure that would be the case. I thought, yeah. you know, I would be a crazy person. Because uh, you keep on hearing what the, when there's no one here, there's no relationship. You know what I'm saying? All that kind of um, negation that happens, right? That um, it, it, it makes it sound so alien and foreign when, yeah. you know, when, when what really happens really is just this authenticity because you're not, I did not pass on any belief systems to you or any ideologies or indoctrination. Um, you know, it's almost like we went both into the, the abyss, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> We're talking, you never told right? me what to feel. That's what right. To yeah. Expect, what is going to be yeah. like? Never. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, it reminds and... me that dead eyes. It's so funny. Like a few years ago, I had a reunion with old friends that were um, from high school. You know what I'm saying? My brothers and I have a collective group of guys that we hang out with all the way from high school. So these are people that I've known for 30 plus years, right? So um, so it's like interacting with them. And then um, my friend goes, are you high? I'm like, no, 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 I'm not. And he goes, and then he goes, your eyes, they're like, they're like, you know, they're just like dead eyes. They're just like, you know, you're like, you, it's okay, Amra said, it's okay. You know, we accept you for what you are, right? My friend was telling me, he goes, do you have any? I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it is just it's just it's just they they notice but they were happy to see that the authentic you know the emerson that they've known the playful one not the serious kind of guy that yeah. i became when i became spiritual right was back into authenticity again it's it's kind of like normal again and yeah. um yeah so but yeah even so, you know without kind of romanticizing the shifts yeah. and you know whatever's happening awakenings realization without even like going there just yeah. this, the the sole thing that you're you 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 stop seeking mm -hmm. the relief for yeah. yourself and for your relationship the sobriety right because what all the teachers all the literatures keep saying that you have to be obsessed about it right this has yeah. to be your number one priority mm -hmm. so obviously when you want to be serious about it that's what you do you're saying yeah. This is my number one priority. And, you know, mm -hmm. relationships are kind of in the background of that because I have just one life and I want to experience this, you know. That's what uh, I did. I went all out, right? And your relationships suffer in a way because they can't relate to you anymore. And I even said this, that my priority is my spiritual path. Anyone that's that's in the way, I will, you know, yeah. I don't know what I said, but something like, uh, well, what I meant was, you know what, you're not my priority. To anyone basically because my my spiritual path or my path to enlightenment or dropping away of the me was the only thing 
that mattered to me really. So it's yeah, very like, selfish. Yeah, like even in practical terms, you're spending three or four hours a day meditating, yeah, reading, listening yeah. to YouTube. What is your spouse doing at the same time, right? Yeah. <laughs> She's abandoned or, yeah. or he is, right? So, yeah. so I mean, even the, 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 if it was just the, the cessation of seeking, that would be enough for a more uh, harmonious, you know, lifestyle, mm -hmm. uh, including yeah. your relationships. Yeah. But, you know, but there's so much more to that, actually. Yeah. And, and you know what? It's funny, right? I think I told you about this one. There was this woman that kept on going to many retreats over and over and over again. And her husband got fed up with it. So when she finally, she discovered me and I said, well, this is the end of seeking. So he had to sit down with her for a few moments because she, he's convinced that he's just getting duped over and over again. That she's getting yeah. scammed, right? And after like a few minutes, he goes, okay, I think you're, you're a good guy. So he, he leaves, right? And then the second meeting that we have, he was more curious about it, right? So because, you know what, imagine your, your spouse going to two weeks, three weeks or a week, you know what I'm saying, leaving the country and going to see all of these guys and spending a whole bunch of money. And um, so it, it does put a strain into the relationship. I have a I have a a one on one after this. It's a guy that has been going through these glimpses and everything and having some clarity, and um, and he's just been curious to see what it is. So he's been spending a lot of his time um, just researching. And he found me, and um, and he thinks his fian his fiance thinks that she's he's cheating on her. <laughs> So, so he asked me and he goes, can you, can, can, can my fiance talk to you after? I'm like, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So it's, it's almost bringing back the ordinariness and the, and the demystifying and the, yeah. um, and taking away the romanticizing of what already is. Um, and it's, and I think that's just a beautiful kind of like, you know, um, evolution, right? Because before you would think that to be enlightened, I was so delusional that I was you know, posing with, uh, with, you know, um, jyotis or, you know, diapers like Ramana, you know what I'm saying? Like, how would I look? <laughs> look? <laughs> so that was my idea of what it was before. What yeah, other, also what, go ahead. The, like the, in the de-romanticizing of it. Yeah. There's also a trap because I mean, it was for me. Yeah. Because let's say when you were talking about uh, sobriety, mm -hmm. that is actually about, you know, sobriety for me, it was like, I mean, does that mean I have to drop my dream of becoming enlightenment, enlightened, right? I mean, that was that was the whole point, right? It, yeah. it, it was supposed to be magical. It was supposed yeah, to be, yeah. you know, extremely profound. It was supposed yeah. to be the one thing, you know, uh, I would be done at some point. I would yeah. arrive. I would, you know, heavens would uh, would open up would and part, I would ascend. You know, right? and, and you would ascend and... <laughs> Then yeah. Jesus, Jesus would high five you, and Buddha would be like, you know, <laughs> yeah, right so, on. <laughs> so, so, so that's the thing. I mean, you're thinking, right? There has to be more to life. There has to be some some grand purpose, and and I'm the one that would get it, right? And yeah, um, yeah. which is, you know, completely arrogant to mm -hmm. to even yeah. think of. Yeah, you're um, you're the Neo in the Matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the chosen one. Um, so that's the thing. I mean during uh, an intense path of seeking, you're willing to drop, I mean, I'm going to say, you know, for, for me, I was willing to drop any belief, but the one last belief of there being, you know, uh, a transition into an enlightened state. That's right. Yeah, that was yeah. like my last belief. I'm saying, yeah. I I mean, I can make this bargain. I can, I can, you know, <laughs> you know, leave everything, leave yeah. every belief. But, but just give me one, one last. Give yeah, me this know. one, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so so this this sobriety and being sober from from all beliefs, uh, including or maybe specifically uh, the belief of of there being a next in in the seeking process the and there being next. a process where you yeah yeah. So this is what's what's keeping you uh, from being in a more natural, direct. Um, space right and yeah. uh yeah. it's really difficult to drop that one that's your most sometimes for me it was yep. like the most cherished it is, uh, it belief, is. It's, right? it's, it's the holy grail right it's like yeah. the, 
the the secret uh, secret secret cow that you're holding for yourself. I'm holding on to this. Yeah. I have people that from a year ago, two years ago, that would would book again or would talk to me, message me again, and said, "I'm at peace now. This is probably the most peaceful I've been for the past, you know, in my entire life." But when am I going to get fully enlightened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that yeah that's a, yeah. Uh, you know, someone could say like you're offering a watered down version of enlightenment because yeah. there's no yeah, uh, there's no bells and whistles and no celebration and no yeah. ascension and and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, no um, no um, no kind of like no grand finale, basically, right? Yeah. When's the grand finale? You know, saying it's like a um. But but you know even if there's a grand finale, what do you then? I mean, life still happens, right? Yeah. Your I'm almost forty. I if if I'm lucky enough, I'm gonna live a little bit more. Yeah. What if I you know if I ascend today? What's I mean? <laughs> what do I do next? Right. <laughs> um. No, but really, uh, the uh, the promise of this uh grand uh amazing happening uh, that uh, so many people have lived through and you know uh whatever happened to tony parsons at the park or yeah. whatever happened to ramana yeah. at, or wherever yeah this this promise is what what keeps you motivated of course yeah. to, to keep yeah. seeking but it's because also... they put an event to it because yeah. you know what i'm saying because yeah. there's a there's almost like a marker now but whatever yeah. happened to those people, you know what I'm saying? It's just the ordinary appeared ordinary. Yeah. That's basically yeah. it. And that's always here, right? So without yeah. and the next and people, everything. It's, it's, for some people, it's a very big shift in perception. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's very, you know, dropping away of so many concepts at the same time. Maybe yeah. someone had, has been like emotionally in a, in a you know, poor state. And this sudden relief is, is really, really majestic. Yeah. Um also there there could be some some you know kind of after effects like you can feel like you were constantly stoned for example like for yeah. for a while at least. I yeah. I know I was. I mean I, I felt yeah, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was talking to you one time you were just like you know, you were just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it um, never ends. See that's the thing, right? Because people have this idea that there is an ending to it. Yeah, but that's and... that's a myth. Right, because it's just a never-ending flow. Like, for example, I was just talking to someone. I said, "This is going to sound really odd." And I've been, you know, I'm running now, and I feel like I'm floating when I'm running because there's just no thoughts happening. Yeah. So, and I've I've been looking for like really good pairs of shoes, right? Because I noticed that my my bargain, um, you know, Timu shoes that I got for like fifty bucks, you know, things falling <laughs> apart, right? So, like, I need to invest in good shoes and. I was wearing that old raggedy shoes that you can always, the soul is almost disappearing because you've run so much, but it still felt like floating, right? So again, if we're not so focused on the next, what is in the, in, in the, in the never ending moment, the momentless yeah. moment is just, it's a wow, right? It oh, doesn't yeah. have to be a big wow all the time. It could be, it could be just a, oh, wow. It, it's, it's just very ordinary or it could be like, oh, wow, this feels great. Because there's always something that's changing, but what's changing also never changes. So it it we can't seem to comprehend it, um, you know. But 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 going to the next, we get trapped into that loop again, to that rabbit hole of thinking, of comparisons, right? And yeah. it doesn't and it doesn't help that, you know, when 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 a speaker or a teacher speaks about it, it's almost like it it has to happen this way, you know, for one person yeah. it would be you know, for inquiry and everything, or, um, you know, a dropping away, you know, or, or, you know, or someone would be have to, whatever seems to appear, but they can't seem to recreate what happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, so many, so many teachers have this, their own story of this like tipping point moment where, you know, everything shifted and people, even if they kind of, um, even if they if they get glimpses or yeah. they they are actually beginning to notice what we're talking about, yeah, uh, they feel it's still not it because you know this guy, uh, without you know naming 
let's let's not name those guys but but it's still not what he has gone through it's not mm, that particular yeah. experience but you know it's not about a momentary experience it's not no. about an orgasm that you had 20 <laughs> years ago right yeah it's long 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 in the past which yeah. doesn't exist if you keep reliving that moment it's it, it, it kind of even sounds like you were stuck really that's <laughs> what the I'm, moment, about to, I'm about changing, to say right? that right because it becomes stagnant because you're stuck yeah. in that story over and over again and it's quite funny right because i've been noticing and again this is just my own opinion and everything right then i'm like oh no they're stuck in a belief system now and yeah. they don't even see it right because the belief is that this is it there's no other it or or that this is the only way although mm -hmm. although there's no way that anyone else that's talking about this must be wrong but by being right it's trapped in that duality again yeah it's trapped so... into into that 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 rabbit hole of thinking that i'm right and I'm, anybody who teaches about this or does inquiry is wrong and they've just fell into the trap again yeah yeah and and you know then seeking turns into a a desperate uh, attempt to recreate someone else's singer experience where exactly. something happened something shifted right yeah. and you know for me i mean I, our first session don't get me wrong it yeah. was mind-blowing yeah. it was, absolutely was but yeah right now i don't feel i mean it's been i think our brain has this, this ability to weave everything into a like a continuous yeah. experience right yeah, so yeah, yeah. So everything is like keeps flowing. Uh, yeah. Everything keeps moving. Yeah. And and uh, I somehow see like a continuity in, in everything. Yeah. And um, for me to say right now that the most important thing was for that moment to happen. I mean, no, it's not like I, I'm continuing to. to uh, You're not trapped in that moment anymore. Yeah. Not which is great all. which is great because yeah. because even at one point i there was one point that i completely forgot what happened you know that that month long of silence and everything and i didn't even and i was like which one was it right because it i didn't really care about that moment because there's this now yeah so there's so, this now there's this moment now that is is incomparable to whatever right there's this unique appearance of whatever regardless of how mundane it is or how um pristine it looks and everything right because there's i'm not trapped with my ideas of the past I'm not trapped yes. about my belief about what happened because it doesn't matter yeah but um uh i think well um it's not practical for someone to obsess about a momentary experience <laughs> with dropping away yeah, right? yeah. it's yeah. it's it just doesn't work that way no um, no uh, you just you know have a session with Emerson whoever you are <laughs> just have a session with Emerson and yes there's going to be a pop there's going to be something will snap and you will find yourself in a place where well you don't have any answers but questions don't arrive either right so yeah so uh, uh, once you uh, feel that you can't really you, you can't really leave that right sometimes yeah. sometimes some people say uh i'm still not fully um yeah. I, like i haven't fully integrated it and yeah. uh, i'm still in and out of it but but really it, it's not like you can ever be out of it right you can distract yourself or your mind can can like toss different obstacles at you and you know distract you from from seeing this but you're abs you're never uh really separate from from that 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 you know immediate moment here that that keeps changing yeah. so uh so yeah you you shouldn't obsess about this moment i mean if it happens great yeah, right? yeah. and, and awesome. i think that's what it, happens with that, a lot of yeah. meetings right because the 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 tendency is the question about you know so everybody goes and huddles into this meeting and it's the same the meetings right now are the same as the satsangs from before right because someone's in front of you that is supposed to be um to be of knowledge to be of importance or to be of um realization right and mm -hmm. so when someone is you know empty or someone is there's no one there it's just it's almost performative if you look at it because there is 
a, a, a an audience and there is a, a performance of a character you know uh expressing you know um the inexpressible and um but if you really look at that that's all the same there should be no hierarchy now right yeah. because for for a realization to see through this veil of separation then there's nothing separate now so what i don't know you don't know um what i don't see you don't see so there's this there's this shared you know what i'm saying interconnectedness that um clarity that is beyond comprehension behind the words so for me to profess that i have seen it makes me into this category of i know better than you yeah so what they do in the one and ones is i get rid of all of that hierarchy and um all of that old ideologies that old indoctrination that that you need a teacher or a speaker or you need to be energetically in front of a person that can somehow dissolve all of your contracted energy um it's just dispelling all of that myth mythology about this and and i think that's what's 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 happening right now is that there is this you know almost like a, an occurrence like a quite often occurrence now of people popping is because they're not trapped in the next anymore yeah people even watch the videos you know what i'm saying um you know without any without me there you know what i'm saying it's just a video <laughs> and yeah. then i've and and when when i talked to you a couple of people contacted you right and then you talk to another person did you want to share that or or not you don't have to um well i'm not obviously i'm not going to share who, who that person was yeah uh but uh coincidentally i got a message from from that person today oh really <laughs> uh, one of one of many messages um yeah. uh we had so so yeah that that, that person saw our one-on-one -on -one, yeah, yeah and and this person i know because it. this person basically has you know commented on all of my, a lot of my one-on-ones basically saying that it should not be person to person, meaning that the way that we're talking right now, it should be parson to parson, meaning that he has he has a belief that it should appear like a performative that there's no one here and there's no one there. That kind right. of thing. But go ahead, sorry. sorry. I just sorry, wanted to you were that. talking about this person. Um yeah, yeah. I actually I actually wanted to mention something more positive because yeah. but but yeah. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, you can talk about the positive so let's one. Kind it's of okay. reconcile that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There was a person that was warning me about you. <laughs> yeah. Reached out to me after the session uh, without giving me any reason for me to be worried. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you yeah. know, just a heads up that you know there's something fishy about Emerson. Yeah, yeah. Uh which uh, you know came in one ear, came out the other. Yeah. <laughs> uh because really, I mean, the the one thing that I um, really, really appreciate about you or and your method, if I can call it that, is that you were the first speaker in that um, you know domain that didn't tell me what I'm supposed to experience. That yeah. giving me didn't give me any new knowledge. Yeah. Um, or belief. Yeah. So so I, you know, when you're like reading all of that non-duality literature and listening to um to um speakers it's it's kind of like they were um orchestrating what you're supposed to feel it's it's like hypnosis yeah. right you're going yeah, yeah. into a trance you're yeah that's what i'm supposed to feel right now right that's i mean uh so so they make uh they use words to draw a map for you and then you try to follow that map but you're still basically bouncing off concepts yeah and just like tripping uh yeah. inside inside and it's your like, head it's like yeah. cognitive dissonance right because you're believing you know, one thing and you're feeling a different thing, right? And that's yeah. that, that's the most common thing that people tell me um, about, you know, like l believing some what someone is saying, but they're like, but I still feel like that there's a person here. And, but I should not feel like that there's a person mm -hmm. here, you know, that kind of thing, right? So yeah. it's just very contradictory and almost very gaslighty at times, right? Because, yeah. you know, when you say something and then, then, then you're accused of still being a me, that's for a me to say, or that's what a character yeah. would do. That's what, you know, and, and you're like, and you feel shitty basically. Right. And then you're trying yeah, well, to go to the next. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not applying for a non-duality passport. Uh, <laughs> so I don't want to like meet all the checklist items. That's right. uh, yeah. It's actually, when you see it, you, you know it. Yeah. Um, yeah. You just, it can't be any, any yeah. anything else. It can't be any other way. You just, yeah. you just know. Yeah. Um, 
So it's undeniable, isn't it? Right. It's yeah. it's like, and then I'm, that's what I'm doing with my videos. I'm I'm showing that that it's it's quite simple actually. That it's not it's not some some complicated jargony or a gatekeeping kind of like way of presenting something because it, it, it is so contradictory, right? Because in one meeting, in a single meeting, someone will say it's so simple. And yet at the same time, they will say that, but it's impossible. I know what they're yeah. trying to say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for the speaker, they're like, okay, okay, which one is it then? If it's so simple, why is it impossible? Or you know what? Or or they oh, learn yes. new things that it, there should be a contracted energy or yeah. a feeling or or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it's almost that you're getting, you're right. It's almost like a dictation of what you should yeah. experience and feel. For a person, it should be this way. But when there's no one here, then there's no more, you know. So people are almost, it's yeah. kind of like, almost like it's, it's like, um, it's, it's, it's a new mysticism now. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's, it's you. Yeah. But go ahead. So you're going to say something and I, and I no, cut no, you off. I mean, uh, uh, we could we we could talk about like like that for you know for hours for hours. Yeah. Uh, um, I know that. I mean, I was thinking the other day that that um, the way spirituality is is framed right now is is very traditional. And I was thinking, you know, how were how were people operating, you know, several thousand years ago? Yeah. How was life then? Right. Yeah. It was about survival most of mm -hmm. the time right so you didn't have much uh to do other than you know trying to live until until uh, sundown mm -hmm. and uh yeah get to sleep in a safe place and hopefully wake up in the morning that was yeah. your like main main uh job so whenever spirituality came in it was it was talked about as something that is a uh, um a promise of something more something mm -hmm. more to life than yeah. you know just your everyday mundane struggle for survival and also a release from suffering yeah. but suffering mm -hmm. several thousand years ago was not what suffering is today right yes. so so i'm thinking given you know how we lead our lives and i'm you know i i know i, I don't speak for all of all all the population on the planet i'm in a very privileged place because i I live in a country where there are no, there's no ongoing conflict, no, uh, there's running water and and you know we have healthcare and it's it's amazing, right? But overall, comparing our lives to, to today to to lives you know several thousand years ago, um, you know suffering is is a very different concept yeah, right now. It is, and, yeah. Um, and I don't think. We lead lives where you have to find promises of something more, yeah, but rather less. I mean, yeah, we're so I think we're more distracted by how life is you know organized right now, mm -hmm. more so than like it's not like we we don't know about some some very uh very ambitious and very uh, uh enticing goal that we should know about, which is enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should we should kind of know less. We should yeah. focus less on on uh, because the the world is so abundant uh, in you know everything, in concepts, thoughts, uh, you know avenues where you can you can try to make progress. Mm -hmm. So it's some, some, I think uh, more now more than ever, you no know, less is more, um, and that's why I like your approach. It's it's like uh, you know taking taking a step back from concepts, not. Yeah, speaking yeah. to someone who's just after you know trying to trying to I'm survive. I'm not adding any anything him about to Jesus, it. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's a very different thing than for someone who who experienced so many things in a, in his lifetime, right? Yeah, so many colors, so many situations, so many things he saw online, so mm -hmm. many concepts, right? Right now, it should be it's, it should it's, be less is more. Yeah, yeah, and that's what that's what what I, I think the difference now is because. There was a time that I was just passionate about word salads and everything, right? Because there was some clarity here. Yeah. And I said, maybe if I approach it this way, there was a lot of articulation that I was doing because the most common complaint about, um, you know, um, um, radical non-duality at that time was that how come there's no articulation if it's so simple? 
And it's just very, very uncompromising that it's always like negation, negation, negation. But before I forget, I'll go another tangent here. Um, you were talking <laughs> about someone. <laughs> this is what happens when there's no mind. Uh, when there's, I was going in a, I was asking you about this person that uh -huh. called you and you were about to go there. And I wanted to, to, for you to share that with me. Oh yeah, yeah it will be good because yeah. you know I want There's to There's a person on a that called you note, yeah. on a yeah, positive yeah. note. Yeah. Um you know I don't mind the, the haters really. Yeah. Um so so there was a person that reached out to me after our meeting um and uh she just couldn't afford a session with yeah. you like yeah. quite honestly and yeah. and she has invested you know a big chunk of her life yeah. uh to seeking like more than 30 yeah. years uh you know i don't want to discuss the, the the story but it was it was you know uh extremely intense and you know so many resources have gone to mm -hmm. to uh seeking and uh we've met several times i think three times um and uh i think we we managed to like meet in that directness yeah right? in that yeah, in yeah. that it, it 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 was one of the you know one of you know one of the like pieces of evidence that it's it's really universal right i was able to, is, yeah. to speak to that person and just meet first meet meet that person when where, where they were where she was at. yeah yeah but but then also kind of gently nudge her into meeting me here right here and yeah and i got a message from her today uh that uh she's she's been having many beautiful glimpses recently that she she's completely stopped seeking which in and of its own it's is amazing for her it is, after, yeah, yeah. especially after 30 years right yeah 30 years she, yeah yeah and she said thank thank god and thank you which when i don't attribute any you know any i don't take any credit for that because yeah, yeah. I mean that it just sounds crazy. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't really do anything. I didn't give her yeah. anything. Yeah. So so I so I was so happy to see that message that she I mean, I know she was thankful uh for, for the conversations and so on, but but that doesn't really matter. What matters is that the relief from seeking was yeah, was and... was crazy. She's been having those glimpses, she's been like feeling increasingly better uh for the past you know several several weeks and um i i, I never for a second felt that this is something i did yeah but getting to witness that yeah is 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 amazing it's, it's like it's one of the joys the greatest joys yeah. in my life right yeah and it happens on a daily basis now when i see people just go with the dead eyes and a relief Right, it's almost like that. It's like the cartoon that we watch when we were kids, right? When somebody is mesmerized by an evil spell, you know what I'm saying? That they've been yeah. living in this, um, like, uh, you know, like I think X Men. I was watching. I don't know if you watch X Men. I'm I'm older than you, so back in my <laughs> days, and, uh, the original X Men came, and sometimes you know what, um, Magneto or something would, or or mm -hmm. Xavier would be fighting, and there was this, and they would get all of the X Men kind of like just in a spell. And when they break out from the spell, the joy, you know what I'm saying, that I see, right? And 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 I think that that's been happening is because when people were able to share this in their own way, they put a claim to it. You know, even if they say that it's they're not claiming it, they've guarded that communication or message or method or inquiry as their own. There was someone behind it. So with um with me witnessing that, you know what I'm saying? Because people get trapped into belief systems, right? Someone will believe that I'm, I'm with the Nisargadada way. Since what I'm expressing is has nothing to do with adding to that, I'm actually subtracting from that. It's going the opposite, right? It's like, take, let's take away all of that, all of that um, um, concepts and belief systems. So um, I'm happy when someone else does it. Like, you know, you have this website now and I love that it's authentically being shared from your perspective now because, you know, it has nothing to do with you, but the words that come out from you is, is original. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to go into that between. So, yeah, um, I'm happy that you're doing that. It's so amazing because I don't have any claim to it. And people are saying that, oh, you should, you should brand it or something. Um, 
right now, you know what I'm saying? It just feels great to see that there's an alleviation of suffering for a lot of people. And um, do you see yourself doing this? You know what I'm saying? You, you have a website and I love the words that you used in it, right? Because it's not something that I would say, it's you. You know, mm -hmm. so there's authenticity in it. Yeah, I mean, um, well, yeah, I did create a, a small, small website. It's it's yeah. really it's really not a I'll big put it project. on the link. Yeah. Um, If you like. yeah, sure, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, for two reasons. First of all, because uh, whenever you get a relief from seeking, there's um. Uh, you, spontaneously, you start it's trying almost like to express it. it's almost And like you want to it, pay it forward even you know that concept right um, well, well, absolutely. I mean, it's hard to, I, I, I don't want to say everyone should do it. Everyone yeah yeah should, yeah because I, 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 I or don't just feel whatever it's, expression yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I don't feel it's, you know, it's, I would be right to, to insist that everyone should uh should should try and and you know let go of Yeah. all the concepts and and be Yeah. where and meet us where where Yeah. we tend to tend to be Yeah. but if someone is really seeking when when someone really feels that desperation Oh yeah. that i felt uh i would absolutely love to help that person feel the relief that i felt Yeah. Like even if it's not, you know, there's no promises of enlightenment stuff like Yeah. that. But, but an honest conversation where, uh, where we can uh, help the person remember that kind of original state. Yeah, Um, the factory because that reset. that's how how I kind of um, like to talk about it. Uh, but it's not a it's not a conceptualization because Yeah, I think conceptualizations just take you away from it. Um, that's true. Whenever you try to name it, you claim it, it slips away, really. And that's So, exactly, yeah, that's exactly it's 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 kind of like the the um um the paradox of it, right? So you're saying yeah, sharing something that can't be shared, yeah. yeah, So and it it. is kind of difficult, but but you know, it's all about getting to that meeting. If Yeah. we get to talk, if we get to really like Yeah. interface with each other, there's a really good chance that that something is going to snap. And Yeah, and yeah, again, yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna like mystify it. Uh for me it's like um uh, I, I know I told you this once, but I, I love dogs. I love the I love the videos where you have chiropractors that do their practice on dogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And what they do is they, they they just try to relax the dog and then they snap something in their spine, let's say, and the dog feels that immediate relief. Yeah, So yeah, so yeah, that's you know that's more like it's more like that than yeah, like an ascension to a to a higher yeah, plane and you know higher yeah. I like state that. of consciousness. It's 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 almost like a you know a um uh what do you call that again? Um, a chiropractic realignment or whatever. Yeah. You know, Yeah. when you snap something back into its nat natural form, basically, right? So. Right. So that there's not much pain anymore, right? I love seeing those dogs too, just kind of like, Yeah. you know, they relax and they they look around and you know it's like it's like enlightenment basically for Yes, them, and right? they were like exactly. They were like Yeah. super tense, and then suddenly, their eyes Yeah. are like wide Yeah. open. Yeah. And Yeah. the first instinct for them is to lick the guy that did that to them, right? Yeah. Uh, because Yeah. it, because they're so grateful because you know Yeah. the relief Yeah. is so so amazing and like being We can in that learn natural so state. much from dogs, right? If there's anything Yeah. to learn, that just just. Right, the immediacy, Absolutely. the directness of dogs, and and Yeah. um, yeah, I like that. I like it's going kind of like you know, coming back into the normalness of it all, and Yeah. not getting caught up in our ideas about what should be or what could be, because that's just almost like a viral thing that happens with us, and we get we get clogged, flooded with a whole bunch of concepts and ideas on how to get there when there's really no getting there because it's always here. Yeah. The concepts of the past, they all are a distraction It's like a cosmic uh, from chiropractic adjustment to what already yes. is. That's a good, that's the word <laughs> that I was thinking for, adjustment. yeah. 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 Well, Yeah. So, you know, if uh, I, I didn't have any like uh, uh, it, what's your website the website again? wasn't really primitive. Uh, it's remind.guide Okay. because Remind it's about reminding that guy. I'll put something it on the that's thing. Yeah. originally, you know, Yeah. uh, 
always there. Um, you know, if if I get to speak to a number of people, that would be amazing, right? That would yeah, be just yeah. awesome. Like yeah, uh, in and of its own, it will be it will be an amazing uh thing to do if if I get to share this, um, yeah, pass it on as you as as yeah. you said. Yeah, it, it's you know I already know this is like the feeling is 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 uncomparable to anything else. Yeah, and I would love to you know have interact with people that where we can meet and meet here and 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 just you know just just be in the wow for uh, for a couple of moments and and we yeah. can we can be friends afterwards right yeah. and um you know, and I, I like have that, a day right? job and i and i yeah. focus on that a lot because you know for for sustenance and and so on but um i just uh, and i never really envisioned myself as a uh spiritual teacher and i still don't right yeah and shoot me if i ever become a guru yeah like really please do that i will i will come over there and 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 you know and and do a, a slap what are you doing yeah, punch shake, me in the know? face yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh being able to share some thoughts on the blog and being able first of all to 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 um have a meeting and and uh speak with someone about this that would be that would be absolutely amazing. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, you know, um, to to seeing more of this grow. Right, it's just, it's just getting started. Right, it's just, it's just so so many, so many um smiling faces at once. Right, and because before, I just got accustomed to people miserable in Zoom meetings. Right, yeah. it's <laughs> it's like they're waiting for something to happen and and. Uh, and even in my my Zoom meetings now, right? Like you know, I'm not doing as much because because a I'm I'm getting busier. People are booking me to 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 be in person. I don't know why, um, but at the same time, I don't see the relevance of Q and A's anymore because it just goes into more um, thought hoarding because they're yeah, looking that's... for the next kind of like you know, almost like people are waiting for that next. What do you call that pill? Like, um, um. What what's what's that pill that that is um like a relaxant you know um it's looking for the next um pill to make them a little bit relaxed and everything so it becomes like a practice at the same time it's like it's like the same thing as going to meetings over and over again it's like a doing a meditation practice over and over again so you're relying yeah. on the words now of others to seemingly create this this ease yeah. you know what I'm saying. And um, but it never really goes anywhere because once the meeting is over, then you don't have those words anymore. So then you go 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 at home and watch binge watch a whole bunch of this Q and A talks that is just really pointless if you look at it because they don't have the answer. No one has the answer. Yeah. Um, and you think you're progressing and you're actually uh, running away from that really yeah yeah it's almost it's, like it's, running it's, the opposite direction right because you yeah. think you know right yeah it does it's nothing like to do with your own knowing. shadow it's like just keeps <laughs> running away from you you yeah. will never catch it <laughs> well i have to go soon because i have another session but marcin thank you if you guys want to go to read.guide i'll put remind, it in the thing. Remind, oh, remind. Dot guide. remind. it's a reminder of your original state <laughs> see, <laughs> see how bad <laughs> the thinking is no, no worries but well, thank you so it's much. A, it's my first website, so you know it's not a big yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah, it's really. awesome, and it's awesome what you're doing. I'm, I'm really happy. Thanks thank so much. You. It's always lovely to see you. I'll stop the recording.